six, we have a new perspective of the moments after Claremont County Detective Bill Brewer was shot as his colleagues tried to save his life. And meanwhile, the man accused in the shooting appeared in court today. Prosecutors say that he ambushed Brewer and fellow deputies. His attorney says he was, quote, very mentally ill. We do have team coverage of today's developments. Chief investigative reporter Craig Cheatham is tracking the response to those shootings. But tonight we start with Evan Millward, who is live in Brewer's hometown of Williamsburg. Evan? Yeah, and the sign out here at the old Williamsburg High School, which is where Brewer went to school, now says rest in peace. Thank you for your service. But this has really become today a story of two men from Williamsburg. One of them, Wade Wynn, was described as a class clown. The other one was an all-star Hall of Fame athlete turned deputy, ambushed while trying to help. He was always on a winning team. A plaque sits inside Williamsburg High School. The new building opened after Bill Brewer graduated in 1996. On it is his name, his face, his list of athletic achievements. And he didn't, he really didn't want those awards. He was just a competitor. He lettered in basketball and baseball under coach Jim Dyer. He lettered in football under coach Wayne Johnson. Kind to everyone. He was, he was just good to everybody. And um, those are traits that everyone needs to have. Wade Wynn, another wildcat, is accused of killing Brewer and shooting Lieutenant Nick DeRose Saturday night. He appeared in court today for the first time. He was waiting in ambush for the officers in the special response team. He fired multiple rounds through the wall in his apartment. Brewer died trying to render aid when they thought Wynn had tried to kill himself. That's just the way Bill was. Or, you know, he um, uh, uh, would just always be the leader. Wynn now faces the death penalty. His attorney blames mental illness. It's not like he had uh, a little anxiety because he had to take a test. They're serious psychiatric disorders. A town now torn apart, left with a Hall of Fame plaque and memories. He didn't quit. He didn't you know, back off. Wynn's attorney said today that his dad is one of the people who called 911 on Saturday trying to get help for his son. As for Brewer's family, Williamsburg Local Schools is cooking up a fundraiser of some kind to hold this weekend to raise money for them. They're still working out the details tonight. We'll pass them along when we get them. In the meantime, we're live in Williamsburg. I'm Evan Millward, 9 on your side.